The 60 meter is the premier indoor event, just as the 100 meter is outdoors. Though just 40 meters less than the 100, it is a completely different race. And that can be proved through the most prolific figures in the event. The likes of Andre Kaysen, Nelly Kuman, and Arena Provolova have gone on to become legends in the event, with somewhat stronger legacies in the indoor event. Christian Coleman, since his NCAA days, has been building quite a reputation for himself, still owning the collegiate record of 6.45, to then moving on to become the fastest man to ever run the event. Of the 10 best times in history, he owns four, with three of them ranking from first to third. At just 26 years old, he has an incredible record, shown through a win streak still active since 2016. So how is it that he mastered the event? Let's take a look at the key reasons why. Let's begin in the blocks. Coleman is very focused on leading from the very first step. As a result, he focuses on producing a lot of horizontal force. Meanwhile, trying to keep the first stride at an optimal length. The goal for Coleman is to become the first to land his first step, not to be the one with the longest initial stride. Once he is able to keep his first couple strides compact and lands quicker, he is able to get up to speed quicker, especially given the fact that his strongest part of his speed is his turnover speed. His turnover speed is backed by the fact that unlike most sprinters, Coleman focuses more on using horizontal force. As a result, we see less exaggerated knee drives in an effort to keep the turnovers as quick as possible. One of the most important reasons for his success at the 60 meter is that he may be the most efficient sprinter in the first 20 to 30 meters. Though the American has a reputation for losing speed quickly over the last half of the race, Coleman has to be credited for the fact he minimizes wasting energy in the first 10 to 20 meters. He does this by keeping movement as linear as possible. Typically sprinters out of the block use lateral movements. Coleman tries to keep a straight path with his strides after two to three strides. Those very small movements by other sprinters give him the advantage as he pushes his five foot seven frame down the track. Coleman who looks to be going for another indoor world title and maybe another record-breaking performance, seems to have mastered the 60 meter with just few minor adjustments to make use of his build, which suits the event. And as a result, he remains invincible over the distance. 